So this has happened uh, several times recently. So I thought uh, I would just chat about it with you guys. So uh, I've been in some tough situations, tough conversations with teenagers and parents lately, uh, you know, around school, around sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Uh, just some really tough conversations where teenagers are hiding things from their parents and the parents are finding out later. Uh, and just some, just some kind of disconnect between uh, kids and parents. And uh, so here I am walking into the home uh, to some grumpy parents and uh, some grumpy teenagers. And, uh, you know, within an hour, we do our art, we do our art, and we hopefully, the goal is to help them grow closer together, to uh, figure out kind of where the disconnect is and help them grow closer together. And uh, so, you know, initially we just get the details, we, need, we get the details, and as we're talking, um, a lot of times there's a discrepancy and the details between the parents and the teenager, uh, you know, uh, and and so you know, for me, uh, I just try to kind of wade through all those things. Uh, you know, my ultimate goal is to sit there and to listen uh, and to uh, just hear, just kind of the details. Um, and there there becomes one part in the discussion that's really just difficult, just really difficult. Um, uh, it seems like a lot of times the parents will start to kind of just lay into the teenager and uh, for me um, that becomes difficult because I see the teenager sitting there upset uh, but I also understand the parents perspective and uh, in that moment guys in that moment typically what I do is I will just um, I will turn to the teenager, I will turn to the teenager, and I will just acknowledge them. I will just see them. I just will acknowledge the teenager for being there in that moment that's difficult. That's difficult. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, this becomes particularly a, a big point uh, when I'm talking with teenagers that are struggling with boyfriends and girlfriends. Uh, you know, the parents may think that the boyfriend or girlfriend is not a good influence on them and the parents don't understand why, uh, why their child is in a relationship that isn't, uh, that's, that's not good for them. And, uh, you know, me acknowledging the teenager is partly, uh, it's, it's very therapeutic and that's exactly what the teenager needs in that moment. <clears throat> what the teenager needs is we don't yeah sure talking about these details but we really just need to see the teenager we need to see the teenager we need to see the child okay we need to see the child my thought is a lot of times what happens in situations with children is they uh, they they lose that idea that they're special they lose that idea that they are valuable they lose that idea that their parents love them and what we need to do is we just need to recognize them what we need to do is we need to recognize them <clears throat> and part of the reason I believe why teenagers get into a relationship uh, either a good relationship but really in particular bad relationships is they're not being seen they're not being seen and that person that bad boyfriend or girlfriend will definitely see them they will definitely see them right and sometimes they will see them for the wrong reasons uh, but uh, but but in a relationship that that teenager feels seen and heard and loved um, even if it's not the good kind of love, even if it's negative, right? Even if it's bad love, the teenager still feels seen um, and heard and listened to and loved. And um, so the ultimate goal is to help the teenager first have the self-love and the self-respect uh, to be able to say, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> like this this situation in my life if it would be a bad boyfriend or girlfriend 
or if it be drugs or if it be whatever like that's not healthy for me that's not what i want that's not what i want for myself so first i've got to really help the teenager recognize what do i want for myself what do i want for myself and then as we go along as a teenager saying hey what do i want for myself what's healthy then i help the parents come on the back end and how do you parent that how do you see your child? How do you acknowledge your child? How do you love your child? How do you empathize with your child? How do you validate your child, right? I help parents be able to do that. Rather than saying, what's wrong with you? I keep telling you that that's bad for you. Why do you keep hanging out with him? Or why do you keep hanging out with her? Oh my gosh, she's so much trouble or he's so much trouble. <clears throat> no, how do you focus on the child? How do you focus on your child and be able to connect more with your child instead of disconnect, instead of trying to drive them away from those bad things? How do you connect with them? How do you connect with them and bridge that gap between you and your child so ultimately you can connect with them of whatever it would be, the good and the not so good things, and be able to support and validate, validate um, and be there for them in those difficult situations. So. So I really look to kind of get through the details, get through the parenting part, sure. Parents always ask me, so should I ground them? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should we drug test? Should we try to keep them away from the boyfriend or the girlfriend? I mean, yeah, certainly I think there are consequences for your behavior and I think the teenager needs to expect, accept responsibility. I think that's just the healthy part of, uh, of personal growth, right? But for a parent, what I would want from them is rather not to focus, rather than focusing on the consequences as being the main uh, part of the conversation, it's, okay, now we've talked through this, now we've worked through it, how can we connect together? How can we connect together in a way where we can have better communication and better understanding? Um, and so I help, I help teenagers and, and parents be able to do that, all right? It's about connecting together, y'all. It's about bridging that gap. It's about bridging that gap. Where did the trains go off the track? That's true if it's a relationship with a teenager and a parent, or a friendship, or a romantic re relationship. Kind of, hey, let's have those have hard conversations. Let's have those hard conversations uh, so we can bridge that gap, whatever it is. Um, and I, I think those hard conversations are needed. Hard conversations are healthy, y'all. Hard conversations are healthy. All right? All right, parents. All right, teenagers. Let's come together. Let's work together. All right? Let's work together. Let's figure out where the disconnect came on. All right? Oh, 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 oh,